Coffee has been keeping us awake for centuries. Has coffee been around for centuries? Oh yeah. I thought a century was a thousand years. What's a thousand years? Millennia. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Katie, and I'm back with my husband Chris. Hi. We realized that we've been missing coffee a lot. I did the pun today. That's good. We've been missing going to Starbucks and getting that weekly pick-me-up. Yes. I thought I could replicate our Starbucks order for tomorrow morning. Ooh, that sounds fun. We should do the the salted cold foam cold brew. Oh, the, sal the salted, salted cream. Salted cream cold. It's this. Oh no, it's cold, cold brew, brew with salted, salted cream, cream cold foam. foam. What? <laughs> And a lemon loaf. Yes, that sounds great. I feel bad I'm not doing anything to help. Uh, you have real work I to do. do. I do. I have work. This is my job. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give me finger guns? <laughs> <laughs> so to get started, I'm going to make the lemon loaf first. I have a loaf pan here. This one is... 9 by 5 but a 9 by 4 I think should be fine as well. Grease this guy up and then I'm going to add some parchment. We're going to set this to the side. Next we're going to cream our butter and sugar. We're going to do 1 6 softened butter and a cup and a quarter of sugar. Mix this till it's nice and fluffy. About 3 to 4 minutes. All right so I'm going to add in my eggs now. These I've let come up to room temperature. It's important that all of the ingredients you It's important that all of the ingredients you use today are at room temperature. This is going to keep the batter from breaking and ensure you just make an awesome loaf. We're doing 3 eggs for this recipe and you'll want to add them one at a time. Make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowls in between the mixings so that everything is getting incorporated evenly. We're gonna set him off to the side and in a smaller bowl, add sour cream. Now that might seem weird, but this is gonna help make this cake super moist and have a really yummy tang. And then I have fresh lemon juice, one tablespoon vanilla extract. We'll mix this guy up. We're gonna set this off to the side as well. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. I've got some all-purpose flour, a little bit of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. Whisk this up, perfect. Okay, we're gonna bring back in our eggs and butter and sugar. We've got our sour cream also on the side. We're gonna alternate mixing these in one at a time so we don't over mix the batter. And this is gonna make sure that our loaf is nice and fluffy and doesn't get tough and dense. Tip. Tipperoo. Tipperoo? That's what my new tips are called. Wow. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of lemon zest. You wanna make sure when you're zesting you don't go down to the white part of the rind because it's really bitter and... Oh. I think that that is a tablespoon. Bam! I'm gonna just gently fold this in. Now that we've incorporated our lemon zest, pour this into the loaf pan. Smooth that out. Okay. Let's bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 to 60 minutes, just until I can put a toothpick in and nothing comes up with it. Let's bake my little baby. Bam! Our beautiful lemon loaf has baked. It has cooled for about an hour. And now I'm gonna make a lemon icing to go on top. Sift powdered sugar. This is just gonna get rid of any clumps and make sure we have a perfectly smooth icing. Add some milk and most importantly, some lemon juice. And then we'll take our spatula and we'll just mix that right up. You should use a whisk, not a spatula. I don't know why I did this. Whisk it up to get out any of those clumps. Once this is all combined, drizzle it over the top. And then you can just take your spatula and smooth it around so that everything is covered nicely. I'm gonna let this glaze set for about 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over it and keep it on my counter overnight. All right, let's get working on the drink. The reason I like cold brew better than hot coffee is the hot water can actually bring out those bitter acidic notes in your coffee, 
while cold brew has this smooth taste and it is super easy to make. I have my six cups of water, add my two cups of coffee. Try not to spill it all over your counter. <laughs> Once you've added your coffee, stir it up. Okay, I'm gonna go put some plastic wrap on this, stick it in the fridge and move on to making some yummy caramel syrup that's gonna go in our cold brew. We're in a new location. What am I doing? So first thing we need to do is add sugar. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of water. Have the heat on medium low. Wait three minutes for all of the sugar to dissolve. Now that the sugar is completely dissolved, we're gonna turn the heat up to medium and cook it for about five minutes undisturbed just until we get that amber caramel color. So you're gonna turn the heat off, add in a quarter cup of water. Whoa, and you're gonna stir that in. Just keep mixing it till it kind of comes together. I'm gonna go let this cool, put it in a container, and we'll use it tomorrow. Good morning! So to finish our cold brew, I have a bowl. I also have a fine mesh strainer, and I have a coffee filter. Place it inside my strainer, and then we're just gonna pour our cold brew over it. And just to show you guys, it is slowly dripping through. Kind of an awkward sound. <laughs> but I'm a child. So just let it happen. It might take a little while, but it, it is worth it. Okay, so we've poured our last bit and I don't, you guys can see there's all this sludge at the bottom. I once put this down the sink. I clogged the whole drain. I had to go buy a drain sink. Don't do it. Okay, our pitcher is clean. Our coffee has been strained. I'm gonna add this back to our pitcher. Definitely try your coffee and if it's way too strong, just add a little bit of water. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and we're gonna prep our final element. It is the best part of this drink. It is basically like a sweet, salty cloud on top of rich caramel coffee. It is so good. So to get started, we'll do a half a cup of whole milk, a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, sugar, a quarter teaspoon salt. This is an immersion blender. It's just gonna make sure we get that thick, beautiful foam we want on the top. And here we go. Oh. Now that our foam is ready, it's time to assemble our drink. So I'm first gonna get two glasses, fill them with ice, and a little bit of our cold brew. I'm gonna leave enough room at the top for the cream. And then I have our caramel syrup that we made yesterday. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that into here. We'll give these guys a stir. Mix that in. And then we're gonna take a big spoon of our foam, place that right on top. Chris, it's breakfast! Okay, Chris, this is your breakfast. It looks like you took it off the shelf from an actual Starbucks. It has the icing, it's even the same color brown on the outside. How does the drink look? The foam looks perfect. It looks it looks exactly like the real drink. It really does. What do I get? What price do I get? You can choose what we watch on TV for the next today. Yes. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Yes. Thank you so much. You're this so looks welcome. amazing. That tastes so good. It does. You've got a you've got a milk monster. Good. Mm. That's really good. I will say that is really yummy. That frosting is delicious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. Welcome to Starbucks drive through Can I take your order? Yes, yeah, so I'll have a cold brew, cold foam, cold cream. I don't know what you're saying. Give me something delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 